Hey guys, today we're going to begin our study of the geography of Europe by locating some of the more popular countries in Europe through Google Earth. So to begin with, we're going to start in Georgia, which is where we are, and we are going to take a little trip. Europe is a continent that is made up of 50 different sovereign states. In case you don't know what sovereign means, it means that they are self-governing. We're only going to look at seven of these, however, just to get a snapshot overview of, of what the continent is like. So we will begin our trip in southwestern Europe in a country that makes up the largest part of the Iberian Peninsula, Spain. From there, we will travel to the northeast of Spain on the other side of the Pyrenees Mountains to France. France is one of the continent's leading economies. Now, southeast of France and south of the Alps is the country known as Italy. Italy is made up of a peninsula. You remember a peninsula is a body of land surrounded on three sides by water. And it also has two Mediterranean islands. Now, Italy, France, and Spain are, are, are all similar linguistically and religiously. Those are some parts of the culture that we'll study in detail a little bit later on. Next, we will go northwest of France across the body of water known as the English Channel to the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is an island nation and it is also another one of Europe's leading economies. Now the United Kingdom is actually made up of four countries that you've probably heard of. They are England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Southern Ireland is not part of the United Kingdom, just the Northern part. When we go back east of France and Central Europe, we end up in Germany. Germany is a country in Europe that has the most potent economy, and it's also one that you've studied in elementary school when you studied World War II and, and United States' role in ending World War II and were briefly introduced to the Holocaust. We will also talk about those later when we get to our history standards. Both the United Kingdom and Germany share a common linguistic heritage, meaning they share similar languages. In the United States, we speak English, and in Germany, they speak German. So you should be able to infer and probably be surprised by the fact that English and German share a lot of linguistic similarity. Our next stop is going to be in Eastern Europe, northwest of the Black Sea, in a country called Ukraine. This country was once the primary agricultural center for the Soviet Union. Northeast of Ukraine and going across the north of Asia beyond the Ural Mountains, is the world's largest country in terms of total land area. That country is Russia. Both Ukraine and Russia share a common language and religious heritage as well as a very turbulent history through the end of the Cold War. 